It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Welcome to 2K Sports, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson, sitting alongside the big diesel, Shaquille O'Neal, and the prop plane, Kenny Smith. And it is wizard basketball tonight as the Washington Wizards go up against the Cleveland Cavaliers. And for Cleveland, relative to last season, their record at this point, not quite up to par. They're looking for answers, looking for improvement as the season continues. And one of the stars in our upcoming game spent a little time with one of our stars right here. Shaq, how was your meeting with AI? All I'll say is, because snitches get stitches, is AI made some questionable decisions when he was young. We all have. I can relate. Wow, that's deep. That's all you're getting from me, Ernie. Mm. Lips are sealed. Wow. No details on your bad decisions? <laughs> and throw away the key. Mm. What? AI. He definitely had some hard. You make sure you guys get a good warm-up out there. AI, you ready? Uh, for game? Yeah, of course. About to go get warmed up. No, I mean, are you ready? <laughs> yeah, coach, I'm ready. Wait, uh, for, for what? You starting tonight. I'm starting tonight? Mm-hmm. You starting tonight. Wow. Yo, that's hard to believe, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've earned it, AI. But you've proven yourself beyond a shadow of doubt that you belong in this league. It's time to take it to the next level. Man, coach, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I've been waiting for this a long time. Thank you. I, I won't let you down. Oh, I know you won't. Then get out there and shoot around. Proud of you, AI. So look at his face. Coach, this is the same face that all the bouncers see. Make sure you try around with me. Try to make my fool like a lowercase g at the end of the queue like a lowercase e. Oh, please, my triple A. You might want me to queue and find this. contest in this game. We've got some terrific NBA action in store for you today. Along with Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and our sideline reporter David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. And the Wizards on friendly ground as they continue this homestand. They've got to feel like, guys, they have an opportunity to rack up some wins over the next stretch of their schedule. You know, they'll be playing nice a game, lot huh? of games in their own building. And seeing where Washington is, well, one of the big stories of the year. Already, this team's been absolutely on fire, and it hasn't just been one game here or there. It's been a sustained effort. Yeah, I don't think that's anything that anyone saw coming. You couldn't see it in the offseason or the preseason, but they've come out here in the beginning of the year and done something pretty special. And a look at the starters for the Cavaliers. Hill and Hood pair up at the one and the two. Kevin Love out there with AI. And it's Smith in at the small forward position. Now here is Smith. Bradley Beal unable to get his shot to go. Smith dishes to AI. Brent, you played for 14 seasons. What kind of off-season training did you do personally to keep in shape? I had a great trainer in uh, Southern California that I would go home to uh, every year and, and work on different things. It was funny, Kevin, because as you get a little bit older, you can be a little more specific with how you train. You understand how you're going to be used, the type of minutes you're going to play, so it can be a little bit more specialized. I'm not sure if I could tell you this, but I surfed a lot in the offseason. Balance. Balance. Core. Core, right? Core. Core balance. Core, core balance. All right, Thank good. you. Thank you. <laughs> Check box. And, and you figured it was just a matter of time, but Coach finally made the call to move AI into that starting lineup. You, you get the feeling that this was just an inevitable step in his development. Greg, you've said yourself that he looks ready to lead and the team feels the same way as they not only view him as a starter, but also as a long-term piece of their franchise. Wall's shot is good. And in the post, Wall's got a pretty well-developed game for a point guard. He can navigate his way through the big bodies with very few problems. Now, here is Hill. He's coming off a 10-point game against Charlotte. Smith drives in. 
Porter with a block. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Rebound Love. Now those are the kind of shots you like him taking. Even though he missed it, the offense will take those. AI can't hit that one. And it's Washington the other way. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. And you know what? Up against the weak defense, they were allowed to do pretty much whatever they wanted. Yeah, what I like, though, besides that, is that they just didn't settle for it because weak defenses, you could take bad shots. That's not what they did here tonight. And Wall has said he wants to be in the MVP conversation moving forward. A terrific floor general with unreal athleticism. And it's sent back by Howard. AI sends a screen for Hood. That's a pick by Love. Six to shoot. Let's it go from deep. And that's good. Rodney Hood for three. Hood's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. For Washington, they've gone two for four from the field so far today. And Wall kicks to Morris. First quarter of play, we're about three minutes in. And it's Kevin Love with the foul. That's his first foul. Beal gets a wide open look. Bangs home the trifecta. A little tit for tat action going on on the back to back trade. Yeah, a little gamesmanship from range could force both defenses to maybe extend out a little further. Now, here is Hill. And uh, right now, he's averaging about seven points a game. AI sets a screen for Smith. Rebounded by Howard. And listen, you can't design a play any better to get a look that good. Just couldn't knock it down. Uh, the best players know that is going to happen, and you just can't let it get into your head. That's a shot that you want to take. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And Bradley Beal earning that first All-Star nod in 2018. A top 20 score. He can hurt you from just about anywhere on the court. And Beal just turned 25. Have we seen his best, or do you think he can take his game to even another level? Uh, I, I think the key is going to be him staying healthy. The injuries have kind of plagued him early in his career. With health, he'll be able to refine his game and fortify his defense and expand that offensive repertoire. Basket is good, and he'll get a chance for one more at the free throw line. I like the physicality there on the glass on full display. Great at hitting the boards and then capitalizing off the second chance opportunity. Hill against Wall. Pass to Morris. Nice ball movement by Washington. It's deflected. Here's Hood against Charlotte. He was really on his game. Wall with a block, and he recovers it. A.I. kicks to Hill. Shot clock at six. Got a piece of it. And out of bounds as the Wizards gain possession. And a chance now to see how teams are faring across the league. Here's the latest edition of the Power Rankings. Look at Oklahoma City. They ascend up the list to number three with some spirited play. And right now, Cleveland... They were obviously hoping to start out better. Still, too soon to panic. But lately, they've had very little luck and seem to be trending in the wrong direction. You have to get in front of Dwight Howard. When he has that kind of room to soar, he's going to finish alley-oops with style. And a tremendous Unleash Chaos replay coming to you courtesy of Under Armour Hover Hammond. Now, here is Hill. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Here's Hood. Cleveland the rebound. And Love with the second chance points. Kevin Love all about positioning in there, battling and finding some space, keeping the play alive with that kind of activity. For Washington, they've gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. Oh! oh, that happened. Yeah. oh let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. Now, here is Hill. Smith outside. AI right side. No good there. Good D by Howard. Porter against Smith. 
Porter passes to Howard. Over AI. And there's Howard. That's good on the assist by Porter. Howard's got six points. That's their third straight make off an assist. There's a good screen. Hill kicks to AI. Rebounded by Howard. Howard's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Guys, uh, they've been getting it done. They came out with a mission, and they have been tough to stop. And finished off by Porter. Ooh, that's as forceful a finish as you're ever going to see out of this guy. Well, gee, it adds now to their lead in spectacular fashion. And to me, this is why they're winning, guys. Unlikely players stepping up huge against a defense that's really nowhere to be found. Now, here's Porter following the miss by J.R. Smith. To the paint. And Howard with the stuff. Aggressive coming out of the gate here, guys. Wow. And already the lead is significant. Excellent play on both ends. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. Well, in the summer of 2017, when Otto Porter signed that four-year, $107 million contract with the Wizards, it was widely questioned. Well, it's been worth every penny thus far as he's become one of the best small forwards in the game. Here's what Washington's going with right now. Jeff Green, he's checked in for Markeith Morris. And it's Rivers in for Porter. A big group substitution here for Cleveland. Nance has checked in for Love. Corver comes in for Smith. Jetty Osman, he's checked in for Rodney Hood. And it's Jordan Clarkson in for Hill. And another miss by Cleveland. And that small forward position that Porter plays, maybe the most important position in the league. You think of LeBron James. You think of uh, Greg uh, KD. Yeah, and Porter able to kind of hold his own on both ends. The, the Wizards' most impactful defensive player. He takes on those big-time players night in and night out. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Here's Howard. And Howard with the stuff. And already with the commanding lead, a terrific offensive performance. And if you check out the strategy, you can see already the plays that they're calling. Feels like they found a weakness or two in the defense. And here are the Cavaliers now, following the bucket by the Wizards. Osman, the pass to AI. And there's the call on Howard. That's his first foul. And for the Cleveland Cavaliers in this roster, Brent, a lot of sharpshooters that can get hot at any time. Well, third in the league last season in made threes, and the team does a really good job of drawing and kicking and finding shooters, and they had the fifth-best rated offense last year, mostly because... of how well they shot the ball from distance. And Love once had a 30-30 game as a member of the Timberwolves. The guy is a force. On the court for Cleveland. On the perimeter, Smith and Hood. AI is out there with Kevin Love. And it's Hill in at the point. Well executed. Great rhythm. You've got to finish that one. Well, it's like Thanksgiving out there. Carving out space off the screen. Just couldn't complete the play. And here we go. Washington fast break. The kick out to Porter. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Porter's got five. And he can smell blood in the water. Excellent finish. Yeah, when your opponent's down and frustrated, this is when you can turn it up. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Bradley Beal became a first-time All-Star in 2018, but he knows the next step is becoming a better leader. He said, sometimes I can be nonchalant, locked into myself and not saying anything. It's just my personality. And as a leader, you can't be that way. You have to encourage your teammates and don't be afraid to say things. Don't be afraid to be a leader. Kevin? Good story, DA. Thank you. A nice shot by AI. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Howard with a screen on Hill. Wall dishes to Howard. They get it again. Moves back up. He takes it up and lays it in. He's got 12. I love the pace he's playing with, letting his offense come to him naturally and then building upon this lead for his team. 
Here's AI. It's good. They are just killing them on the interior. So it's Washington now. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Their next game playing at home as the Nets come into town. And that will be the third of five straight played at home. Wall, no luck. The Cavaliers trail by 20 outside Hill. To the paint. And count it. And a chance for one more at the free throw line. George Hill recognizing when his man was open an effective pass that time. The Cavaliers have gone three for three at the line tonight. Beals checked in for the Wizards. And Wall kicks to Morris. And there's the foul. It'll go on AI. That'll be his second foul of the game. And that's foul number two. It, maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another before him. And that one is good from Bradley Beal. Defensively, this is what you know. He's coming off a hot game and looking to keep it rolling. And you could try to key in on him, but that's tough. They run plays that routinely give him makeable looks. Washington leading now by 20. Outside wall. And count it. He'll head to the line with a chance to make it three. And just the overall aggressiveness. Wall enjoys taking on a challenge and succeeding, especially when the D is all over. And Greg, last season there were some signs that maybe some of his teammates didn't like playing with John Wall. Why would they say that? You know, Wall sits almost every season in the top three in assists. Not a stat you associate with selfishness. Sometimes it's really about personality. Six to shoot. Here's Smith. And he gets the shot to fall after coming off the pick. At that time, JR not just spotted up, but working off the screen. Beal with it. 11 points in the game. Howard setting the pick for Beal. Morris kicks to Porter. Five on the clock. Now the pass to Howard. And Howard with the stuff. And there are some games where Dwight just dominates the interior without much effort. He fills it up close to the basket, this time doing it in a hurry. Now here is Smith. He picked up 21 points in their last win against Charlotte. Offline with his three. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. And Dwight Howard this past offseason on the move, Greg, once again. And Howard traded from Charlotte to Brooklyn soon after bought out by Brooklyn, making him a free agent. He's hopped from team to team over the last few years, and you wonder if he'll find a place to finish out his career. Here is Wall, following the basket by George Hill. Wall passes to Morris. Nice ball movement by Washington. Hill against Wall. Morris trying to free himself up. Wall, good. Wall's got seven points here in this quarter. Man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. For three, Smith. Happy to see that one drop, shooting a poultry two for nine. It's been made quite clear through, through time here that J.R. Smith does not lack confidence when it comes to shooting the ball. What range? Now here's Wall. He had 25 points in the win against Orlando. You can't forget about all those well-timed swipes either. His timing on the defensive end was simply sublime. All with it, he started by Hill. From deep three-point range, excellent D there from Hill. He has got a lot of confidence in his game. You have to if you think you can knock one down from there. Yeah, and let's not get on him too much, but that shot is also a little irresponsible. Yeah, looking up at the scoreboard, guys, that's his third foul, and his coach has to consider now sitting him down. Jody Meeks, he's checked in for Porter. And good that time. Love's got eight points. Now you can just tell in his gait and in the look on his face, he's in a great rhythm after a terrific first quarter. He is feeling it here in the second. Now here's Howard. He's got 15. There's Peel with the three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. AI's got three rebounds so far in the game. Smith kicks to Hill. AI sets a screen for Hill. 
A.I. right side. Six feet out. Washington with the rebound. Howard's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Beal, Beal on the follow. He's got 13. And that's a pure hustle play, getting to the offensive glass for the tip. And that's the kind of quality you see in any strong offensive rebounder, isn't it? Now, here's Ayan, and stolen by Howard. And now, the fast break, Meeks with the ball, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Rodney Hood. The Wizards have been shooting right around 75% of the line, 9 of 12 so far for the Wizards. Green comes in for Markeith Morris, and it's Austin Rivers in for John Wall. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Nancy's checked in for Love. Corver comes in for J.R. Smith. Billy Osman, he's checked in for Rodney Hood. And it's Jordan Clarkson in for George Hill. And so it's the Washington Wizards controlling the game and finishing the quarter with a 20-point lead. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That Thank you, Kevin. An incredible performance so far, and this is your first ever NBA start. How did you get past being nervous? I mean, uh... Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. Well, it's been a one-sided affair so far through the first two quarters, but there's plenty of time to mount a comeback. We have seen an exceptional performance from Dwight Howard. And how about that? Already through two quarters and some change, he's got a double-double. Well, it's an impressive performance thus far, but it goes beyond just his ability right now. He's just simply outworking the opponent. Beal and Porter make up the perimeter. Inside, we've got Morris and Howard. And it's Wall in at the one spot. That's the group on the floor right now for Washington. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Wall's got the first points to start out the third quarter for Washington. And for the Cavaliers, they're shooting at 48% from the floor. Looking good. Knocked loose. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Hill. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. Taking a look at Washington. Here in the early part of the season, they've acquired the third best record in the conference. And check it out, Cleveland. They're much further down in the standings right now. Well, I think for Cleveland, they've fallen all too quickly down to that spot at the bottom of the standings. If any team needed a bright start, it was them. Yeah, with the quality of a lot of teams they're now staring up at, it's going to be difficult for them to bounce back from this kind of start and make a huge climb up the standings. And Smith loves pulling up from three. Never scared to fire when he's out beyond. Wall dishes to Beal. Outside, Porter. He kicks it to Wall. Brent, last season the league cut back on timeouts. Are you hearing any other ideas of how to reduce the duration of some of these games? There was also the idea last year where they put it into place where right after the second quarter ended, they put you on the 15-minute clock in between halftime. It started immediately. And I thought that that was ideal. So if you're at a game and you get to see the dog jumping through the hula hoop. Which you love. It, I love it. I know. It's only going to last the seven or eight minutes before the teams come back out. And I thought last year that helped the game speed along. And I think they sped up last year, if I'm not wrong, Kevin, by about three minutes time. I'm glad when you go out there and balance the dishes on your head. That's always been so fun to watch. There's only one red panda, Kevin. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Tell you what, guys, Howard is feeling it tonight. A, a big game thus far for him offensively. Howard with the steal. It's deflected. Out of bounds. Washington takes possession. Washington ball. And now on our rookie leaderboard, who are the rookies grabbing the most rebounds in the NBA right now? Let's take a look. You look at AI. One of the game's best, second in the league. And, and you know, rebounding was a skill that I thought would translate to the NBA for him. We knew he could board with the best of them, and he has not disappointed. And there's the foul. It'll go on AI. That's his fourth foul of the contest. And, and that fourth foul, guys, might force him to scale back the aggression from a defensive standpoint. He does not need, nor does the team need, number five. Hard for the defense to deal with the massive size of Howard. That kind of D does not affect a big guy like him. 
in the slightest. Hill passes to Ayon. And it's sent back by Howard. <laughs> the Cavaliers have gone a perfect 7 of 7 from the line tonight. The first one falls. And both free throws good for AI. Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes played. It's Beal on the wing. Howard kicks to Beal. Back to Howard. Count it. Howard's got 23. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Smith outside. Cleveland moving the ball around. Fades away. They get it again. And AI throws it down. And, you know, it's one thing to get the offensive rebound, but then how about the loud bucket he's able to convert? He was in perfect position under the hoop, Greg. You're right. Once he gets his hands on the miss. Morris passes to Wall. Wall draws the double. And stolen by AI. And here comes Smith leading the fast break. Unloads from 13. Good, and it's Hill picking up the assist. Hill's got four assists in the game. Yeah, you don't want J.R. Smith to get room to shoot, especially from the mid-range there. He's very effective at scoring just about anywhere on the floor. Here's Howard. And it's A.I. with the rebound. A.I.'s got rebound number seven for him tonight. Lays it up off the glass. He's got 23. Yeah, Hood does a good job there of surveying the floor and being ready to deliver the pass. Wizards leading by 15. And here's Wall outside. Number 12 goes in. He's made 7 of 12 now. You can blame some poor defense on that play. Just a total breakdown. You gotta at least contest at some point. Timeout called Cleveland. This their first look at this year's Washington squad. And they usually came out on top when these two teams faced off last year. No surprise, they're the better team. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Zizic has checked in. AI up again. It's good on the putback. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. And Wall kicks to Morris, fires from 14, and off the glass. That one's good. Morris has got his second bucket tonight. Yeah, you can't allow those kind of looks. That's the type of defense played by a team staring at a double-digit deficit. Hill passes to AI, and the foul called on Markeith Morris. That'll be his second foul of the game. So it's the Cavaliers now. It's an 18-point game. Here's AI. Here's a look at what's coming up for Washington. On Friday, they'll host the Brooklyn Nets. Then on Sunday, they'll be playing against Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers. And that one against the Raptors. That's a contest that could easily go either way. Small mistakes could be the difference, and both teams will need to be at their best. Morris with the screen for Wall. And again, Washington with the triple. No three-pointers for him in that first half, but the second half, different story. Well, John Wall, Derrick Rose, and Russell Westbrook came into the league around the same time. All of them in the conversation for most athletic big point guard in league history of the three. Uh, I think John Wall, the most prolific playmaker, always looking to create for his teammates. Beal against Hill. Beal the pass to Howard. It's rebounded by Cleveland. They've got the Pistons ahead of them in their next game in Detroit. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. Drills the three-pointer. And John Wall is such a multi-faceted game, it almost feels wrong to call him a pure point guard. But that's what he is, isn't he? Just loves to set up his teammates. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. And he can score at a high level, but it helps him as a playmaker. Guys thrive playing alongside him because he commands so much attention. Austin Rivers, he's checked in for the Wizards. Then for the Cavaliers, Kyle Korver, he's checked in for Smith. Osman comes in for Hood, and it's Clarkson in for George Hill. 
Inside. AI can't hit. Washington leading now by 17. Down low. Takes it from 10. That one off the back iron and out. And he drops in the layup off the glass. AI's got 11 in the second half. Almost an impossible shot to block in the post. The defender can't give up that much of a height advantage and expect to contest it. Howard kicks to Porter. Morris a screen. Porter dishes to Morris. Misses the three. The Cavaliers trail by 15. Osman the pass to Clarkson. That three off the mark. For Washington, they've gotten half their shots to drop in the second half up to this point, going 7 of 14. Yeah, I just love the way Wall kind of nice. While you look at some of the analytics, and the best rated player on the Wizards might surprise you. None other than one Otto Porter Jr. And he's really become an impact player at both ends of the floor. Uh, one of the glue guys on this squad, he just impacts the game in so many ways, and sometimes it escapes unnoticed. So on the floor for Cleveland, AI is out there with Channing Frye. Then there's Jordan Clarkson. Then there's Kyle Korver. And it's Osman in at the two. Great use of the bounce pass. Thumbs down on that one, Kevin. Tough to defend against. And Wall kicks to Rivers. They are now showing NBA games in virtual reality. You and I have actually seen some examples of that. Um, they can recreate almost any angle. Have you gotten a headset? I haven't gotten a headset, Kevin, but I have watched it. You and I have talked about it several times. Many it's times. A, it's an amazing experience, and it, it will only get better. But I really think about if I was a kid growing up in, in Germany or Italy, and I had an opportunity to pull on a pair of goggles and to watch the game's greatest players from a seat at half court or the cameras that they set up underneath the goal uh, at either end. What a fantastic way uh, to be enveloped by the NBA game. It's a cool view. It's a very cool yeah. view, and it's only going to get better. Yeah. Wall passes to Howard. Back to Wall. Pass to Howard. Over AI. And again, Washington, no good. Well, Cleveland shooting reasonably well, 45%. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by John Wall. Washington's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. They set the pick. He dishes it to Rivers. Shot clock at five. Here's Wall. Doesn't go that time. And Cleveland will come the other way. It's stolen by Green. And here's Wall. The league and players union, Brent, both have expressed supporting guys who express their views and social concerns. You like that? Well, I think it's amazing the way the league has backed some of the avenues with which players have used their voices. Embraced. Well, extending well beyond just saying things, Kevin, because we know actions speak louder than words, and there are so many guys around our league that do important philanthropic work. But the the fact that the league supports all of those things, the fact that you see Adam Silver show up at some of these events, or that there's press releases from the league office about some of the things guys are doing. There's amazing cohesion when it comes to the league and its players because they understand that everything that they're doing has such a significant impact in the communities in which they live in 
and around the game with which we all love. Well said. And Beal kicks to Howard. Out to the wing. Four on the shot clock. Beal, that's for two. And it's AI with the rebound. Well, Cleveland shooting a paltry 33% in the fourth. Not a good showing for this offense. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Wizards. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And they took charge when it counted and will be notching their ninth win overall. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. And a lot of players tonight helped contribute to this performance, but in particular, a real good game it was for Dwight Howard. And so many times on the defensive end showed off those quick mitts, jumped all over the opposition and swiped the ball away a number of times. Using his post moves to get the two points. And saving their best for last. Tremendous run here to seal the win. And you could just see everything coming together like a perfect storm, and they just rolled on through. Out to Smith from outside the arc. The second chance effort, and the layup by AI. AI's got 32 points just creating havoc for the opponents the last few games. You saw by that putback there, he is just completely locked in. We're getting full contributions from him right now. You know what? You've got to always be in control of your emotions. Taking two shots. And he's good on the second. Here's Clarkson. To the inside. Here's A.I. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Well, a combo guard who can do a lot of things decently well. Jordan Clarkson, solid addition that rock. And so it's Washington easily grabbing this one. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy.